What is up, y'all? It's your boy, Tony Holiday, back at it again, another video. Today, we're gonna be making a Drake Moog kind of low-end type bass, and it sounds like this. It's kind of like a Take Care circa era style of Drake, maybe like feature Rihanna on the hook or something like that. This is kind of like a standard sound that you find in a lot of hip hop and R&B these days, especially Drake and modern kind of Toronto sound type stuff like that. But yeah, guys, let's get into making this kind of smooth Drake Moog type bass. And we're gonna do it with all stock plugins and in Logic Pro 10, so it's super easy for you guys. But yeah, let's go. So to start things off guys, I kind of have this little beat here that I made. So there's the drums at this point. We also have like a little piano and then I actually just put some vocal chops like from Exhale for the chorus and things or build ups. There's like this little bass in the back, which is kind of the Moog. So what we're gonna do here is actually just get a brand new Alchemy out. So we're gonna go up to here, software instrument, and then on our channel strip, instrument and find Alchemy Stereo. We're just gonna go file, initialize presets so that we're all on the same page here with a blank slate. Quality, ultra. And that's gonna make sure that we have the best possible sound coming out of all the oscillators of Alchemy. Next, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go click this A tab. We are gonna add oscillator B later, but for now, let's just use this one. So we're gonna actually go over to this number here, which is the voices, and we're gonna turn this up to 14. And next, we're gonna actually turn the detune down all the way, and then we're gonna kind of feather it in and see where it sounds best. So let's see what this sounds like. And I think this is gonna be pretty loud, so I'm gonna turn the volume down as well. So that's probably where we're gonna leave it for now. So now let's go add oscillator B. So we're gonna click B tab on. And for this, we're gonna take the voices down, or pardon me, we're gonna take the uh, coarse pitch down exactly 12 semitones, which is one octave. And we can turn this down a little bit as well. Next, we're gonna add nine voices for this one. So not quite as many as the last one, but still quite a few voices that we're gonna be using. And the detune we can turn down as well. This is kind of like the, um, the basic version of our Moog bass here. And now what we're gonna to wanna to do is add a filter to kind of make sure that it's staying down in the low end. So, but before we do that, let's go back to the B tab and hit this little stereo button to make it in mono because this is the low end. And then we're gonna keep the high end in stereo here. The filter that I wanna use is gonna be this LP 12 dB smooth. And we're gonna actually just turn the cutoff down. Let's try and go to like maybe something around like this and then we're gonna mess with it from there. So for now, I like to have it about 360 hertz, and we'll probably change that again later. Let's go back to oscillator A. And oscillator B. Now what we also wanna do is maybe put a little bit of glide on there, because what we can do with that is actually glide these bass notes into each other, which sounds kinda of cool. And a really important part of this as well is that we wanna make sure that oscillator A and B are both not clipping. What they will do is introduce distortion that we don't want, but if we turn these down with those volume knobs, we can always turn up the master volume over here later, and then that'll make sure that it's nice and clean sound. So let's just try this out. So we can see that our filter's clipping a bit, so maybe let's just turn down both of these volumes. So now what we're gonna do is maybe bump the resonance up a little bit. And that's gonna give it kind of that like throaty vibe to it, that sort of throaty sound in the background there. And another little thing that I like to do is actually just go to this cutoff and I'll modulate it to an LFO really quickly here. So from the sign, we're gonna go basic, and we're gonna ramp down. And then we're gonna give it ever so slightly just a little bit. And you can also turn bipolar off here so that it's just going one way on the modulation there. 
the sync we're going to want to do down to one, which is going to be one note per measure. And then I turn the depth down to about negative 4.7. And what that does is it essentially modulates it so it's low and the filter slowly opens up over the note. So it kind of just gets a little bit more throaty, a little bit more high end, and it just accentuates it a little bit more. Now from here, what I'll usually do is go and check out my channel strip here and just see what we're sitting at in terms of volume. And then I'll actually uh, turn up the master volume here so that we can get closer to the to zero. And we'll turn the limiter off just to make sure. So that's pretty much the sound there, guys. It's just a couple of saw waves, and then we actually just build the filter on top to take out all the high end. Now let's see what it sounds like with the actual beat that we have as well. This is what the beat sounds like by itself. So I could definitely see this being kind of like the verse type thing. And then for the actual bass, we'll kind of fade it in to see where it sits best. I think that personally sounds pretty good in terms of a balance. It's kind of like one of those beats that's, you know, like an emotional kind of Drake, Toronto style. Maybe you'd get like Sampa on the hook or Rihanna or something like that or Party Next Door. But this bass here is actually useful in so much modern R&B because essentially what you can do is build a beat with just a soft piano, maybe some vocal chops in the back or like a vocal loop that you have filtered, a tiny little beat here, and then this bass, and then you have a ton of room for the actual vocalist or rapper to get on top, and it's just really easy for you to kind of make a cool, quick little beat like that and get some emo emotional vibes. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I hope you like this kind of sound design tutorial. If you like this video, give your boy a thumbs up. Make sure to hit subscribe. It's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. It's Tony Holiday. but I'll see you in the next one, guys. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Cheers.